So here we are. It's 10.59, November 27th, 2016, at Casa Poitras, Mid-Atlantic. This is my uh, garden, which I've never actually planted anything in, but they ended up paying me for it anyway. There's my neighbor's sign. So this roundabout is shared by the two of us. So there's no point in putting any lights up here. And then as we go down, we'll see two driveways. The one to the right is my neighbor's. And it basically goes back to the four acres that are behind mine. So all the stuff to the left of that driveway is my forest. And the stuff to the right really is nobody's and his is behind. There used to be a third driveway, but it's all just torn up and there was a house back there but now there's a super highway that goes through it. So here is my driveway and I own the forest to both sides and when it was gravel it was a pain in the butt but now it's kind of cool. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Now you could see my entire land in the winter but until the leaves come down you can't really see it. You can see the neighbor's house sort of back there, in there. And driveway, driveway, driveway. This is my little culvert that came in handy when the hurricane came through because there was a lot of water that came in there from up there. That's my forest. And then went down there. That's my forest. And here we go. There's a little house. I don't do anything with it but store some stuff there. But it's cool. And the driveway comes along. There's actually a little turnabout, so the driveway goes up a little bit there. And then there's like an empty space where they used to have like a, a badminton court or something like that. And here's the house in its splendor. And uh, so we'll just do a quick trip around it. These azaleas are amazing in the spring but otherwise they're kind of meh. Yeah, let's try to shade you a little bit. And then we got these things. And there were no leaves here when I left for Thanksgiving. There's the top of the house. So you can see I've got a light just to shine on stuff. And it goes back and forth so I can see who's walking up on me. And the guys did a pretty good job doing the siding here. And they put a new light there. That's very nice. This woman made that uh, stained glassy thing. She did that all in the basement downstairs. It's kind of cool. Look back the other way. There's the entrance. This is where the squirrels used to live. They used to make a hole up there and go across the roof. That was really annoying. And now I've got this really nice siding. So here's the side of the house. There's my hot tub. This is the back of the entry, of like the mud room. There's a little window there. And there's the house. And here's kind of the backyard. So it's not huge. It goes to the little fence line there. And, uh, and the pond behind it is not mine. That's the neighbor's house over on that side. And deck, deck, deck. Let's get a good view of the whole back of the house. Here's the, the backyard. So it's got like this little rock. You know, border, which is kind of neat. There's a little frog pond. I used to have a fish. He eventually died. And there's the back of the house. So you can see I've got skylights there and there. And uh, it's a solar house, so the sun is supposed to come through, heat up stuff inside, and make it all wonderful. So there's the side again. Look, I've got a bench that's in disrepair. And there's the volleyball court, whatever. And walk around a little bit. So there's a little light here, just I turn on the light up the back, but nothing special, but it's kind of cool. And then we got a little planter, which I've killed everything in. And then we got more trees, trees, trees. Here's the downstairs. There's my shutters that I like. So all that forest is mine until you get down to where you can sort of see the driveway down there for the neighbor. But I wish I could do something with the forest, but it is what it is. And here's the side of the house. Oh, I wanted to show you 
next week or the week after, I'm going to be going up there to knock out the acorns out of the gutters. So if you hear a story about uh, man falls from roof, neighbors didn't know until two weeks later when their dog Muffy brought home a finger, you'll understand what happened. There's my uh, air conditioner. And that the squirrels also used to go in up there and they loved it. They were very noisy and happy. This is my uh, septic tank. This is the solid tank, which overflows and leads to the liquid tank, which then pumps the water out into the leach field down below. Look how cool this tree looks. That's neat. Oh, yes. I wish I had more of these trees. So this is the side of the house. Block it out there. It's very tall. So I also have to take the acorns out of that thing, which is also. And here's like a path. So it's got like rocks around it. So it would be nice to light these paths that go around the house. I never actually saw them until the gardeners actually, you know, cleared up enough, you know, underbrush that I could actually see it. So this is the guest room and the garage and uh, looking back on the path. That's pretty much it. And then we'll head back to the garage and we'll have finished our tour. Well, look, there's more stones that I didn't know exist. Now they go back. I think that's where the bodies are buried that the previous owner had. But well, let's not talk about that. And then um, the garage. And look, it's my nice car. Oh. And I've got, I've got tools and a, and a saw. Interesting stuff. Okay, that's seven minutes almost. Good enough. Goodbye.